Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing? Um, hope everyone is well. Um, we are on week 13 of our Inspired Art Weekly Challenge. Please excuse my voice. <clears throat> I will try to talk so you can hear me okay. Um, this is uh, brought to us by Mixed Media Minnesota and um, I will link her link below. And today I am inspired by Amber from Lyric Lover Crafts and I will link her um, link below in the description box. And let's get started. Week 13. Uh, take care of this. And this is what um, somewhat what uh, Amber made. And um, this is a uh, mini album, a little mini album made from two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. And I am going to see if I can remember how she did it. So um, this is the album and this is the inside. And I did not decorate uh, extravagantly. Um, I just sort of, uh, threw it together and then I wanted to show you guys how to do the base and then um, you guys can go ahead and decorate to your heart's content. So let me see if I can walk you through this. We are going to have two sheets of 12 by 12 um, double-sided paper. Okay. Um, if you have the little tab at the top, you're going to want to um, cut that off, but make sure you have the 12 by 12 paper. And we are going to cut this down to... Now, first of all, if you have uh, um, paper that has to go in at a certain angle, make sure you have it at the angle that you want. I really don't care with this paper what angle it's going at. So I am going to take the first sheet of 12 by 12 and cut it down to nine inches. Save this little piece here. I am going to take the next one and cut it down to nine inches. Save this little piece here. Then I am going to <clears throat> cut this. Let's see. Into, I think it's six. Cut this at six. So basically, um, it'll be right in half. So I've got these two, and I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to cut it right at six. Come on. So we have four sheets of nine by six. Okay, put my cutter aside. Put, leave this where I can find it because I'll probably be using it. So um, now we want to put our papers like we want it. Whoa, <laughs> double-sided, but I got a lot of red here, don't I? But that's okay. Um, now before, um, actually what I wanna do now is do some scoring. So we have our five sheets. I'm sorry, we have our four sheets and we're going to get our scoreboard. And I am going to take the first sheet and I want to lay it on the nine inch side. So have nine inches over here. We are going to score at four, four and a half, and five. Four, four and a half, and five. Do that to each one of your sheets. 
Alright, so next sheet. Nine inch side. We're going to score at four. Four and a half. And five. Next. Four. Four and a half. And five. And last sheet. Whew. Four. Four and a half. And five. Okay, that should be all we need this for for right now. Put that away. Okay, now we are going to fold on our score lines, but first um, you need to pick what you want for the front cover. So I think... Hmm, I think I'll have this for the front cover, okay? So because I want this one for the front cover, you want to fold this in half with the front that you'll be using for the front on the inside. So I am going to fold it like so. I'm folding in the middle. And then I am going to fold back on itself on this side and then back on itself on this side and what you're going to end up with is the valley right here and on the inside will be your mountain okay so mountain on the inside valley on the outside because this you want as your cover now let's see since this one i'm going to get the same piece of paper and this time i am going to put this on the inside that's the opposite side so i am going to fold it in the middle Boy, the scoring, the scoring is horrible. Don't know why it came out like that, but of course it could be the paper, not, not the person doing it. So this time I am folding this back on itself on this side. And this back on itself on this side. And now we're going to do the same thing with this one. I want, did I score that wrong? You know what? I think I scored that wrong. Let me rescore this one. <clears throat> Got it on the nine inch side. We scored at four, four and a half, and five, okay, I don't know how that happened, but I guess I'm not with it today. Okay, so this one we're going to fold this way. Then we're going to fold back on itself and then back on itself again. And burnish that down. So we have that one and this one we want to go this way fold in the middle, fold the back on itself, and 
and fold back on itself and burnish. So we have folded our papers so they're each so there's uh, different colors on the outside. Okay. So this one I chose as my pocket and we have the mounting mountain on the inside. So what we are going to do with these papers is choose what we want next in line. And I think I will choose, yeah, I will choose this one next. And this is going to fit right down over here. Now we're going to be gluing this, but I'm just showing you what it's going to be like. And I'm going to see if that's how I like it also. So I'm fitting this down over here. And this down over here. Okay. And then when we fold it, we have our little booklet. And this will be like this with lots of red. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're going to get to gluing. So what we are going to do, we have our mountain. Put it like we want it. And we are going to put glue right down, sort of in the middle, but do not glue down to the fold line. So on both sides, we're going to glue down this. And on that side, we're gonna glue down there. And then we will fit the next one. Get my, just get my baby wipe, cause this glue is horrible, okay? I am using Eileen's Tacky Glue. You could use, um, uh, what do you call it? Double-sided tape if you want to, but I am going right down, sort of in the middle, but staying away from the uh, fold line, okay? So I've got both sides glued. Now I'm going to take my next sheet. You have the valley. We are going to fit the valley right over the mountain. Make sure it's straight as you can get it. And then burnish that right down and then we are going to do the same thing glue it on both sides just staying away from that fold line whether you have um, double-sided tape or glue take the next one Fit the valley right down over the mountain. And squeeze and get that right down. And we are on our last one. So we are going to, again, glue. And I am going to show you the basics of this. I'm not going to um, do all the decorating. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. You can play with it afterwards and decorate it all you would like. So this is our last one, taking our valley, fitting it right down over the mountain. 
get it straight and squeeze. And there you have your little booklet. And this is what it looks like. Ah, if I can get a hold of the papers. This is the middle of your book. And this is the other side of the pages. Very cute. Okay. So now we have this in the middle. Alrighty. And we have our two strips. So what, let's see. Guess I'll use this one. And what we are going, because this is the back side of this paper, I chose this one. And we are going to, let's see, what is this? Yeah, we're going to fold this right in half is what we're going to do. Just fold it right in the middle. Okay. And then this other sheet that we have left, we are going to cut this at six inches. Okay, so we have two pieces of six by three. So we have our folded piece here and we are going to take our um, one of the six by three and fold it right in half okay folding that right in half so you have the top up here and while it is folded in half I take my uh, any uh, circle punch and I am going to cut a thumb hole through both pieces like so okay and then what we're going to do is our folded one have the open end down we are going to fit that right in like so and I think I'm going to uh, distress this here so you can see better. Okay. Okay, so open end of your fold, fold at the top. We're just going to Put that right down in there like that and that is going to um, be your two pockets one on each side so all we have to do basically is take our pocket with the thumb the thumb notches and we are going to glue down both of the long sides Again, I'm using Eileen's Tacky Glue. And gluing just down the long sides of each side. Then I kind of hold it like this and put the open end of this right down in. And then line it up and make sure that's all the way to the bottom. And 
squish the sides down but make sure that this is open, left open like this, okay? All right, now we are going to take our middle of the little booklet. And first of all, what, I'm, what we're going to do is, I, I bend these back like this, and then I just go at an angle just like that at an angle on both ends. Okay, so you want to angle both ends. And what we're going to do with this is make sure that your pocket is down at the bottom and we are going to fit that right over right over our little um, centerpiece there, okay? So first we're gonna make sure it fits okay, and then we are going to glue, just like we did before, we're going to glue both sides. So, glue on the one side, and glue on the other side. And we are going to um, make sure that the folded paper goes all the way down to, make sure that it goes all the way down to the, uh, make sure your pocket is down, facing down and fit this right over. And with the wet glue, you should have um, time to uh, play with it a little, a little bit to make sure that it's down. And when you get it in place, then you're going to squish it together. and get that glue to take hold. And then you end up with a pocket there and a pocket here and a pocket there. So there's, now if you have some sticking out here because um, you may where it's, uh, you know, when you uh, stacked it on top of each other, it makes it stick out a little, uh, some of them stick out on the sides. I would just go ahead and just trim that right off with um, a knife or your trimmer. Um, it doesn't bother me that much. So I'm just going to leave it, but I know um, some of you may want to just trim it. And I might end up trimming it sooner or later anyway. Okay, so now what we have left to do, we still have our little valley here on our spine. So we want to cover that up. So we're gonna take our three by six inch leftover piece, cut it down to two inches. So, Go to the two mark, cut it down to two, and then I want this side to show, so I am going to fold this right in half. Now, if you want, you can uh, score it first. I am just going to, actually, I don't even, you really don't even need to score it because what we want is we want to fold it like right in half but we don't want to really uh, like burnish it right down. We just want to leave it a little bit loose so we can, so it will sort of roll over the spine. 
and fit like so. We don't want to have that rigid line right down the, um, the spine. So that's about good right there. I am going to glue on the inside like halfway down. I don't want to go all the way down to the fold, like maybe halfway down on both sides. So halfway on this side because we want to leave um, some movement room for that spine. And then halfway down on this side. So then we want to take our spine or our book and put this right over the spine and make sure it's even as can be, and make sure it's right around where it belongs, and glue that right down, like so. And that is what it will look like. And this is all we have left, but I did go ahead and use this little piece in this little album. And I used it right there and made a little belly band. So you basically use up your whole two sheets because I will again, just put this in somewhere as a belly band. So this is what it looks like all together. And then um, here is your middle pockets and plus you have a big pocket here. Now you also could put a um, thumb hole in this pocket here. I didn't on mine, okay. And there is the rest of the album. I think these are so adorable. And then I thought I might put something like this right on the front, like I did here. See, I don't have um, these sheets of paper. I don't have cutouts and stuff that go with them. So I just went through my stash and I actually like that right there, really. So I'm just gonna glue that right on there. Oops. I am going to glue this right on there and then that will be what I will do as my decorating part. So depending on what paper you guys use, if you have some cutouts and stuff that go along with your paper, so much easier than trying to find something that goes with it. But I do like this. So, and then all you do is tie your little bow around, or I've got some seam, uh, no, this is ribbon, not seam binding. This is just ribbon. And there you have your, I'll tie this one back up too. Didn't do a very good job, but And there you have, out of two sheets of paper, a little gorgeous mini album, just like that. So guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Shannon, for the challenge. Thank you, Amber, for the 
um, little tutorial on mini albums. And thank you all for joining me today when I um, do my little challenge. Um, I know I'm a day late. I usually do this on Saturday. Please forgive me <laughs> for being a little late. But um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you give it a try. They're cute little albums. Go together real easy. And um, we will let you go for the day and let you um, continue on with your weekend. I hope you have a happy crafting day. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And videos will pop up as they come, as they, um, come out new. And... Um, uh, lost my train of thought because I was watching a four-wheeler drive by. <laughs> so anyway, you guys hit that little bell is what I meant. And then new videos will pop up for the new subscribers. Thank you all very much for subscribing to my channel. As soon as I reach that 1,000, I will have an, be having a big giveaway. So you guys have a wonderful weekend and we will talk to you again soon. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.